All right, halfway house, back on the 62 Grand Prix. We're gonna jump back on the interior. These are the lovely products I've gathered here today. I think that's all I need, something a little bit more gritty. Still says non-scratch, this shit is still you know, a little crunchy, a little brittle, but that might be too much, hopefully that'll work. Simple green, tough stuff, and that's for me. But uh, again, I did soak this thing yesterday. And I didn't even touch it. I haven't touched it at all. And it looks a million times better already. So now it smells like moldy simple green in here. But it's better than just straight up mold. So wish me luck. That's all you do. Get her wet. Get her moist. And then wipe her down. See how she comes out. All right. One magic eraser. A couple Q-tips. A couple rags. One brewski. Got half a door panel done. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but they cleaned up really nice. So I just want to show kind of what I'm dealing with here. I haven't got a Q-tip went in between all these cracks, so I'm going to keep uh, going on this door panel and just work my way around. All right, door panel one done. Came out really, really nice, actually. I have to forget the lighting. Just came over the shop, so yeah, it looks really good. I think that other roller carpet I have is for these door panels, so that'll be easy to fix. And I got new kick panels, so that'll be cool to get that all straightened out. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the other door. There's a before. And uh, then I'll jump in the interior. I don't think I'm going to pull these seats out. I think I might pull the rear seat out. We'll see. Now I got my uh, little Q-tips out. And I'm spending time getting all these crevasses and cracks and all this. Really got time to contemplate my life and... The bad choices I've made and the ones I'm about to make and really started thinking who the fuck would ever order white interior for the love of fuck's sake door panel number two looking tits I'm missing actually I have that crank window but uh something's missing in there no big deal Care about that later but door panels look good I think I'm gonna do these uh, I'm gonna do the dash and then I'm gonna do the front seats and I'm gonna pull the back seat I think hell yeah all right, got one bucket down. A little bit of yelling on the back. Bam, it's actually white up here. Not too bad. I'm probably two, three hours into this. Haven't touched the rear yet. I think that's gonna take me all day. These little crevices are killing me and there's a lot back here. So I think that's probably gonna take me a whole day. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out since these come out easy. Yeah, I'm going to pull this out. Got my fancy workbench set up. Got half it done. It's getting cloudy. I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, again, some yellowing and stuff, but it uh, looks pretty good. I mean, can't really complain. Usually this stuff is completely destroyed, so the fact that it's intact at all is sweet. So I'm going to knock this out and then pull the back, of, the back of the back seat out and then do the driver's seat and call it a day. Um, I think it's about beer time. I think about three beers and 5,000 Q-tips and, I don't know, about a quart of Simple Green. The Magic Erasers definitely do not work um, if you go this way. They crumble right away, so I've just been using a regular sponge, and that actually works really good. So, keep rocking and rolling. All right, this one took a while, but it came out clean. Actually, came out really good. Luckily, a Q-tip fits perfectly in these little grooves. I think it was uh, strategically designed that way. Time to vacuum up all the rat crap. So I think I'm going to go ahead and vacuum this shit up. I'm not going to touch the sail panels or the headliner because I have new ones and it's actually, I mean, it's stained and shit, but it's fine. So I'm going to do these, uh, these back panels and these little curve panels and, uh, get the seats back in it. And then I got one patch to do over there i don't know if you can see it from there and then i can peel r15 the floors but as you can tell they're tits very nice floors so uh yeah peel r15 this shit throw my new carpet in i'm probably gonna hold off on the headliner for a while because that's a pain in the ass um i do have these i need to put those in what else oh yeah the steering wheel came out good too i mean other than the missing chunks it I didn't think it was going to clean up that nice. Um, I haven't done the black one yet, but it'll take a lot less effort. I did spray it down, but I haven't wiped it yet. But it's actually in pretty good shape compared to these white ones. So anyway, 
Let me do some vacuuming, get these seats back in, and I'm going to call it a day. Brisky time. All right, got the glove box back in, got the floors all vacuumed out. You can see a little bitty rust hole there, a few of them actually, but uh, it's the only panels I've seen in this thing, floor-wise. Back here, looks clean. Clean. What are these things? Anybody know? Interesting. They're on both sides. Package tray, uh, that's an okay shape. That speaker or the back part of the... Uh, Back seat is not in very good shape, but I guess I'm going to put it back in there. And uh, I'm going to jump in here, scrub this shit real quick. Those seats back together, it's about 5.30, so I'm running out of daylight. So I'm going to jump back on it. It came out pretty good. A little bit of stainage. But uh, I spilled my beer. That's the worst part, but running out of daylight. I'm going to throw these seats back in and take one more video and a couple pictures and get out of here. All right, check her out. Turned out pretty good. One of the better interiors I've had in an old car. I've had a lot of them. This one's pretty decent. A little bit of yellowing and staining and, you know, some seam splits, but it's fine. Came out good. I didn't finish that one, but it's good enough. It's black anyway, so who cares? Did clean up the dash pad. Cleaned up the steering wheel. Looks pretty good. I didn't get to the uh, glove box, so that's why it looks discolored, but... That's as good as I get aligned also, but I know that these are ashtrays, so they're, you know, never lined up perfect anyway. Good old Hurst. It's been a solid six hours or so out here. My fingers hurt from Q-tips, and I'm going to find me a Brucey. There it is. That's my last one, and sun's going down, and I will see y'all later.